Okay, I'm going to do the last example on the cow packet. This is the one that has three vectors. It's got Rosa um, going 10, taking the cow 10 meters east, and then Chip walks the cow 15 meters at an angle of 50 degrees north of east. And then this is, we're adding a third one. Herbivore is going to walk Bessie uh, 40 meters due south after all that is said and done. So I went ahead and just rewrote this from the page before. We want to start by drawing our vector diagram. So I'm going to start here at the corner of the gate. And so for the first one, it's just 10 meters east. So A, 10 meters east. And then for B, this kind of gets tricky on how to draw it. What we're going to do is instead of, I'm going to use this note card to just kind of help us with the concept. First of all, I know that the B vector is 15 meters long. So that looks like a good 15. And it says 50 degrees north of east. So just like we write these backwards from how we actually draw them, we're kind of going to start backwards. So first go due east. So right here, um, the cow first goes from this point to this point, and this is where I'm starting. But instead of going due east like this, you're going to swing it up to the north. So this angle that you're creating here is going to be 50 degrees. So once again, instead of due east, I'm going to go 50 degrees to the north of that. And so I'm taking that 15, and I want to make it about 50. Make it just more than a... So this that you're creating with respect to the x-axis or to due east. All right, and that's how you know how to draw this is B 15 meters 50 degrees with respect to that east line and last I've got 40 now from this point due south and I want to make it about four times as long as that. Okay, and so D is 40. The resultant always goes from the very beginning to the very end. So resultant is going to be from here to there. I've got to have errors on absolutely everything. That's what I'm trying to find. How do I get there? All right. Um, back to our steps. We've already drawn everything tip to tail, and I've got my resultant from the very beginning to the very end. Now, anytime you have something that is a diagonal, whether it's velocity or displacement or forces or anything that's a diagonal, you need to stop and break it down into its two parts. So this has a X part that's horizontal. And it also has a Y part that's vertical. You have to have arrows on your components as well. So instead of going from here to here, I could go this way first in the X direction and then this way in the Y direction. To do this, I'm going to do the vector resolution. I need to break that down into its two sides. Um, just so it doesn't get crowded, I'm going to just sketch it out over here as well. Make sure you've got your arrows and they're going in the right direction. I label this BX because it's horizontal. Then, is this the adjacent side or the opposite side to the angle? So it's adjacent, so I use the cosine version. Okay, that's because it is adjacent. So BX is equal to 15 times the cosine of 50. Make sure that you're in degrees and you can check and make sure that you're in degrees by going to mode and you want to scroll down and be in degrees click All right so I'm entering 15 cosine of 50 just like that 9.6 in WebAssign you want to go ahead and use 9.64 
and then the y, this is opposite, and so I'm using the sine version, 15 times the sine of 50. And it's 11.5. Let me go ahead and put this back on my pretty picture over here. So BX is 9.64 and BY is 11.5. All right, now that I've got my diagonal broken into its two parts, um, I can continue from here on out. So I need to sum up all the X and Y coordinates and find my resultant. And then I'm going to do my Pythagorean theorem and inverse tangent with the resultant. Let's go through A, just the pink vector alone. So I'm only talking about 10 meters due east. The, that is all horizontal, so it's all X. It doesn't go up or down. So the X component is just 10. All of that's in the X, and there's no Y. B is our diagonal one. Once I break it down into its two parts, you're never going to use this 15 or 50 again. All I care about is the X part and the Y part. You'll never put 15 or 50 in any of your answers from here on out. I could erase that if I could. All right, so my X component is 9.64 in the X and a positive 11.5 in the Y. And then last, I've got my C vector, the green one. And it's only vertical, so it has no X component. And it is down in the Y direction by 40, so it's negative 40. Because it's down. All right? From here, sum up all of your X components, and I get 19.64. And sum up these, and I get 28.5 negative. Once I get to this part, just redraw your R triangle, your answer, and solve with the Pythagorean theorem and inverse tangent. So I'm going to redraw my R vector. It goes 19.64 this way. And the Y is going to go down 28.5. You don't need to have any negatives on your triangle. The triangle stuff, like these equations, this is all trig. And in trig, you don't have any positives or negatives. All triangles are made up of just absolute value sides. So you shouldn't have any negatives in any of these equations. Um, that's what the arrows are for on our picture. And when we go to add them, like vector version, we include the negatives here when we're adding them together. But when we're just working a triangle alone, it's no negatives. You just use the, the trig there. So my resultant goes from the very beginning to the very end. Again, make sure you've got, um, make sure you've got arrows on everything. So this is what I'm going to try and find. First part, find the magnitude, just how far the cow is now from where she began. Use the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm now using... Instead of resolution and breaking down a vector, I'm going back to what we started with, addition, and you're going to put it back together. Rx and Ry, I want to know what the hypotenuse, that's the magnitude of R, and the angle is. So my equation. Again, don't put any negatives in here besides they'd end up squaring out. You just have more likely that you're going to mess up on your calculator. It also doesn't matter the order that you write these in. I could have done 28.5 squared plus 19.64 squared because it's all um, commutative. Addition doesn't matter. So I'm entering it just like that. Square root of 19.64 squared plus 28.5 squared. And I end up with 34.6 meters. So that is how far away the cow is now from where it started. But that's not enough information for the entire displacement. Um, I've got to pick an angle so I can tell you the direction to go also. 
The angle is going to be inside your resultant triangle that you've drawn, and it's the angle that is touching the starting point. So this was my starting point. The angle I'm talking about is right here. Right? I'm using the inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent. So inverse tangent of my opposite of the angle here is this 28.5. My adjacent is the 19.64. That in my calculator. Inverse tangent of 28.5 divided by 19.64. And I have 55.4. But I can't just randomly say 55.4 degrees. I need a direction. And so I'm going to trace my triangle that I have drawn. And I go east first and then south. So this will be south of east. And so this is the location of the cow after all the walking around. On a side note, there's another correct response for the direction. If instead you decided to draw in your triangle, your resultant triangle, this way, I'll label this alpha so we don't get it mixed up with the theta. And this was your 28.5, and this was your 19.64. This time, when you go to do inverse tangent, opposite would be the 19.64, and adjacent would be the 28.5. And this would give you the complement of 55.4. This ends up giving me 34.57 degrees. But it's not just a random 34.57. If I'm talking about this version of my answer triangle, I go south first and then east. So this would be east of south. These two spots are the exact same location. Um, so either one of those would be correct. Just as long you need to figure out your triangle, how you drew it, I'll always draw the X first and then the Y, because that's just easier, I think. Uh, but either of these is correct. The 55.4 has to go with south of east, and if I did it this way, the 34.5 or 6 would have to go with east of south. So those are the same location in space, because this could be 55.4, this angle here, and this angle here would be 34.6, and they sum up to 90.